Who can turn the world on with her smile? Yes, I'm talking about the Mary Tyler Moore Show. One of the best sitcoms in television history. Has a great list of characters in the show. Of course, Mary Richards, played by Mary Tyler Moore. Lou Grant, Ted Baxter, Murray Slaughter, Rhoda Morgenstern, Sue Ann Nivens, and of course, Phyllis. And there's the list goes on and on. Today we're going to talk about Lou Grant and, dare I say, the ladies' man, Lou Grant. Now, yeah, you're probably wondering, Lou Grant, the ladies' man? That don't have a thing to do with my qualifications for this job. You know what? You got spunk. <laughs> well, I hate spunk. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try you out for a couple of weeks, see if it works out. Oh. If I don't like you, I'll fire you. Right, right. You don't like me? I'll fire you. Who Grant, heavy drinker, maybe at times, uh, angry a lot, <laughs> quick tempered. But deep down, he was a lovable guy. Having said that, looking back, he had a thing for the ladies. The ladies seemed to like him. He was married to Edie, and after a few years, the kids all left the house, and it, there was just nothing connecting them anymore. So they broke up. He was still in love with Edie, but Edie wasn't really in love with him. So he ventures out on his first date. His first date was a blind date set up by Mary, and it was a friend of Rhoda's, and it turned out to be Martha Dudley. Now, if you look at Martha Dudley, yeah, she's a bit older than Lou, but was it love? We'll never know because it only went on one date. Uh, he also dated Rhoda. He went out with Rhoda. Now, was Rhoda more of a friend friendship kind of thing? Or did they have a romance? I'm going to lean more towards it was just friends. But, you know, he still, Rhoda and him had a connection. He also went without Mary's neighbor, Paula Kobach, played by Penny Marshall. Here's, here's a picture of Paula. Uh, Sue Ann Nivens had a sister, Lila, who had the hots for Lou. Now... Again, Lila and Sue Ann had a, um, had a they were competitive, very competitive with each other. Now, did she go after Lou because she knew it would bug Sue Ann? We don't know because, again, Lou's a ladies' man. And also, Sue Ann had the hots for Lou. She was always going after him, and eventually one time they did hook up, which meant that Lou had to take the walk of shame, and it was, it was upsetting for Lou. It was something he didn't want, but again, Sue Ann always had the hots for Lou. Mary's aunt, Aunt Flo, and Lou went out a few times and connected a few times, and they had they had a connection. Now, on the outside, when you see the, they both had tremendous egos. Flo was a world famous reporter, but Lou had his his qualities and stuff like that. But that the egos clashed. But in the end, there was a love connection. They they did like each other. Lou dated Charlene for a while, and they, they kind of broke up because Charlene had a had a past that Lou didn't think he could keep up with. But they did go out together. And it's funny, it's, towards the end, Charlene seemed to change. Just going to throw that out there. And finally, finally, Lou went out with Mary. Mary Richards and Lou Grant went out on a date together. But when they kissed, they realized it was just not going to work. It was just they were friends, brother, sister, whatever you want to call it. It didn't work. So here, now we're going to let you make the call. Was Lou Grant a ladies' man? Did women love Lou Grant? Put it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. But I'm going to lean towards he was a ladies' man. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching. We'll be back later. Bye.